Hey, you try to get to the bank of America and you can get to the heritage fund and the consumer stabilization fund. Na eno eno ni nyafu John jina poa yamre sebe jeni edema yape kuse ugudi ya tuje chini muse sabani yana jeni se ordinary sabo kubo heritage fund mwa enya dumbo kuma nibe pini soda na mudi ya kani ni na no sabani yaso ba ya wamba tabani chi amafutu bi watu miako kuhi na heritage fund eno kwa ndiye la la. As we go, these are indeed times that all of us must rise up and demonstrate commitment, demonstrate the zeal and demonstrate our willpower to ensure that we overcome these trying and challenging times. That's bigger. Indeed, if you look at the 2020 budget, the cap was about 300 million. Today, the minister is proposing to withdraw more than 200 million, because once you cap it at 100, it means that the excess will go into other areas of expenditure. Mr. Speaker, in times of such difficult moments, what we expect leaders to do is to show commitment and lead by example and lead by demonstration. Mr. Speaker, in these difficult moments, in these hard moments, when ordinary Ghanaians are sacrificing, like the minister said, when hotels, businesses are laying off workers in order to ensure that they cover their costs, this is the time for His Excellency President Akufuado to reduce the size of the bloated ministers that we have in this country. Mr. Speaker, I, as a member of parliament for the Yape Kusoyewu constituency, support any decision to cut the stabilization fund. This side of the house would help the minister, would help government to go through this challenge. But Mr. Speaker, as for the heritage fund, any attempt to eat into the heritage fund, we shall resist it vehemently and we shall resist it. The world is going to experience a global recession this year. No country is left out. Mr. Speaker, a recession will be two quarters of negative growth. And so you will hear the minister project that our economy could uh, grow at 2.8% or even 1.6%. It could even be negative. So these are not times for anybody to be partisan. These are serious times, and, and so uh, uh, let's be guided. Mr. Speaker, what is even more worrying is that a recovery will be slow and long. It, it could take two years for our economy to recover. Mr. Speaker, if there is any such time, where we have to dip our hands into the heritage fund. It is now. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, it would be absurd for Ghanaians to die whilst we lose 591 million in the heritage fund. Mr. Speaker, it makes a lot of sense to lower the, the cap on the Ghana stabilization fund. And Minister, I, I applaud your efforts. We are going to rake in about $280 million by lowering the cap on the stabilization fund. Let us support government in these trying moments. Mr. Speaker, we haven't even considered the impact of the virus on jobs.